Today we open a mystery package of Yu-Gi-Oh product. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have this mystery package. I have no idea what is inside. Supposedly sealed product. Gonna be fun, we're gonna open it up. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition Genesis Impact Booster Box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think will be in the package, what packs, what sets, what cards, etc. And this package was sent to me by GG Vision, and he has a clip for us to check out. And if you guys are interested in his YouTube channel, the link will be down below. Yugi counters by summoning Zelda and moving her four spaces into the labyrinth. This is Instantly forces the brothers Paracox to go into a dance routine before unleashing a promo that cannot be denied. Ball Shadow! Attack Counting Guardian! Kunai with Chain! What is this? Let's hop into it and see what we got. Alright, let's go into this thing. I don't know what is in here at all, so we're gonna go into it one at a time and see what we got. Oh, wait, this is gonna be hard not to spoil. Okay, so we have one uh, pack of packs here. These are blister packs. Looks exciting. Alright, let's see what we got in here. I have no idea what this could be besides blister packs of course so let's start like this okay i don't know what this is randomly inserted chase cards star pack arg v all right star pack three packs of that all right we've got the secret forces very cool these are walmart packs you can occasionally find those there you know even today we've got a shining victories another walmart pack very cool and then a pendulum evolution this is one of the worst sets of all time so uh star pack and pendulum they can battle over that these two are pretty cool though i'm pretty excited about these all right let's go ahead and open these and then we're going to open the rest of the mystery box let's start with pendulum evolution because i don't think there's a good card in this set <laughs> there, there's not a lot there's not much but let's see if we can find maybe there is one good one that i forgot about or that has got like you know it's come up since last time i opened it so it's a uh, harmonizing magician so and it's pendulums that's why there's nothing good right now because pendulums just aren't very good sorry triff with the magical abductor summoner's art and pendulum reborn so yeah nothing too exciting there inside here though we have a couple of packs or and seven cards three packs and seven cards let's see if there's anything cool in these bonus cards i have pulled a gold or a ghost rare i should say from one of these before which would be pretty insane let's see if we can do that again i doubt it but maybe fusion substitute the atmosphere uh the railroad car oh look that's a starter deck from a long time ago, Giant Rat. And then an, a backwards Rainbow Path. So none of those are actually, you know, anything but comments. That's fine. Okay, Arc V. I don't really know what's in Star Pack Arc V. So that, this will be interesting to see if there's anything any good at all. I don't know. It might be better than Pendulum Evolution. So Constellar, Lava Battle Guard, Morbius. <laughs> Morbius the Mega Monarch. Sorry, too many memes. Mobius the Mega Monarch. Completely different, but uh, we can call him Morbius from now on if you want. Morbius the Mega Monarch. <laughs> All right, we get the Wonder Balloons. This is cool. So the foils at the very front, or whatever you call it, the Shatter Foil. Time Gazer and uh, Porn Pal Trump Witch. Very cool. Uh, Wonder Balloons, that's an, kind of an annoying card back in early Duel Links, but here we go. We're going to get spoiled right off the bat what it is. Ooh, X Saber Fulham Knight. Very cool card. Uh, Part Naga and the Stargazer Magician. So, yeah, not too much in that one. But that's okay. Let's try our luck with Shining Victories. Let's see if we can get anything. This is one of the blisters that I got a Ghost Rare, except for it had a Legacy Pack, not a uh, Shining Victories, which isn't really a Legacy. But at this point, it's six years old, so it's pretty old. Uh, Magic Spectre Cyclone, Dynamis Rex, Fire King Iron Fortissimo, the Whirlwind Prodigy from Flame Eternity, the Tricky, Zodiac Cataroost. And uh, that's about it for that one. Okay. Let's see what's in the pack. Will there be something epic inside? Oh, wait. I forgot. After this pack. One, two, three, four. We got the Digital Bug Core Bag with the Raid Raptor, the Kaiju Files, Dwarf Star, Despot Base, Forge of the True Dracos, Bug Emergency, Priestess with Eyes of Blue, and Mausoleum of the White. So Priestess is a pretty cool card. And by the way, this package is from GG Vision. I forgot to mention that. So you will have seen this clip earlier in the video. So I almost forgot to mention that. I just got carried away with opening these packs. Got excited about the mystery products. You guys know how it is with me. All right. Tyrant Burst Dragon and the Kabuki Dragon. Tyrant Burst Dragon. DRL3. Quick draw Synchron. That's a good card for... Uh, oh, a Hero Lives common? That's actually pretty good. And then this is good for, like, Edison. And Well, I don't think that deck's that good anymore, but still pretty cool. A Hero Lives common is definitely not bad, though. Secret Forces. Let's go. I think it might be at the front, so we're gonna do this, just in case. We got the Abyss Dweller. Very good super rare. Spiritual Beast Apelio. Degen Prognosticator of Rituals. Ritual Beast Bond. And you'll send you common or comma three it's a secret not a comment completely different next pack or next set of packs what will it be okay more blister packs pretty exciting what shall they be they are extreme force this was one that i was opening like right when i got back into it like in 2018 so it's pretty nostalgic uh lightning overdrive cools we could get the uh isn't it the one with the black rose yeah that could be cool 
Ooh, Battles of Chaos. We know we opened a lot of that. A lot of cool stuff in there. And a Circuit Break. All right, not bad. And King's Court. Okay, so a decent variety on this one. We'll take those. Let's go Circuit Break. This is a 2016 pack, I think. Isn't this the original Evenly Match set? Could be wrong about that. I think it is. I think Circuit Break is where you originally got Evenly. Or is it Boral? Maybe it's Boral something. I don't remember. Let's go. Link Restart. Crawler. Let's just pull whatever the card is. That's really good. Missed our boy. The Ants the Rocket Dragon. Broken Line Ultra Rare. Okay, I do not know this one. So that's the Battery Men. That's pretty funny. World Legacy World Armor. Crawler. X Crawler. And the FA Pete Stop. Pete Stop. Okay, on to Extreme Force. So this set is pretty bad now because the best cards got reprinted and like limited and I think maybe even banned. Yeah, Electromite's banned. So yeah, they, they kind of just destroyed the set's value by doing that. But overall, it had some good cards in it. So let's see if we can pull them if it gets unbanned. Artifact. I'm getting the hiccups. Oh my gosh. Zombie now. Shake him. Oh, secure guard now. Cool card. Magnite Orange Sunset. That card's still used. The Vindred Core. Okay, the Metal Rocket. So, yeah. Uh, Honor Clock Taker. Secure Gardener is actually still used to, like, uh, link off another Link 1 so that you get, like, a certain monster in the graveyard. You use it in the Alistair uh, Invoke deck. And uh, I think even Dinos sometimes use it. Stuff like that. So, it still has some value. You know, well, not value. It might not have value, but it's still useful, I should say. Let's go to Lightning Overdrive. Can we pull something good? AI Meet You. Amazement Special Show. Scrap Raptor, I love this card in my Dino deck. Not that Dino's really any good, but I love Scrap Raptor. Very cool. War Rock Generations. Oh, and a secret rare. Book of Lunar Eclipse. This card I don't think ever really got too expensive. It just fell immediately as soon as it was released. But it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, it's super beautiful. It's nostalgic because it's a book card, and those are like classic from like Book of Moon and stuff like that. All right, let's keep going. There's still more in the mystery mystery package as well. So we have uh, the Battles of Chaos, which is pretty cool. We could pull Dark Magician. We could pull starlight dark magicians the blue eyes jet dragon all that different stuff let's see if we can do it doll monster and remember the dark magician can be at like the end of the pack which is pretty crazy rock scales ghost trick shot dimensional conjurer master of chaos the cover card dynamorphia diplos alert and uh dynamorphia are actually kind of popular i think master of chaos awesome pull i don't think it's as expensive anymore but i think it's a few bucks We'll take that. The cover card. Pretty amazing. That should have been a Starlight. Master of Chaos would have been such a great Starlight. I don't know what they were thinking making that not one. What, what could we removed? Probably the Dinomorphia card, but actually Dinomorphias are kind of popular, so maybe people like that one as well. The Theresia, I believe, or the Theresia. Here we go into King's Court. Let's see if we can pull something. Stardust, Zhanglong. Gravekeeper, Spy. Pretty cool. Reinforcement of the Army. The Ties of the Brethren. The Wicked Avatar. And face card fusion. Very cool card. I don't think it's too great, though, but still cool pack. Back to the mystery package. This could be the last one. Yeah, we have one more. There's a note in here. I definitely missed this. Yo, Phil, I have but a simple question for you and your audience. Fruit roll-ups or fruit by the foot? Fruit by the foot. Come on. Come on. Fruit by the foot was so fun to eat. Let's be honest. Okay. In here we have... Oh, what is this? A special edition? I'm, I think this is Code of the Duelist, I think, based on the promo. Just Solemn Strike. I think it's Code of the Duelist. I could be wrong. Code of the Duelist. Very cool special edition. You can get really good promos out of there. And then some nice packs, it looks like. We're going to save the reveal for those till after we open this Code of the Duelist. Really, the big part of this is the promo. Miss Starboy, there's two promos. Could it be the second one for Solemn Strike? No, Skullmeister. Not a bad card either, though, but still uh, not what we're looking for. We're looking for that strike, which is pretty good. All right, three Code of the Duelist. Code of the Duelist is pretty bad at this point because Firewall is no longer that great. Or it got eroded, that's why. So it's not as good anymore. They made it worse. Uh, but we're going to see what we can get. Launcher. Destiny are Dangerous. I love this card in Duel Links. Lila Twilight Sworn Enchantress. Back to the front. Gravity Lash. And uh, yeah, Gravity Lash. I remember that one, too. Two more packs here. And we'll get into the real serious hitters. The good stuff. We've got the Vendred Revenants, Backup Secretary, Go 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 Aristera Adexia, the Ea of the World Child's Priestess, Motivating Captain. Look, it's Marauding Captain. He's motivating him. He's got shot like Boromir like four times. Uh, crowned and the Hack Worm. Very nice. One more pack of Code of the Duelist. Let's go. Air Cracking Storm, Pulse Mines, Zombina, Jane Twilight Sworn General. Ningirsu, the World Chalice Warrior. All right, a secret rare. We'll take that. I feel like that's not too bad of a card. A DDD card. This is probably actually not too bad either. This one was used in Duel Links with a DDD deck. Pretty cool. All right, more packs. What is this? This seems like Dark Crisis. Oh, a reprint of Dark Crisis. Let's see if we can get Skill Drain Rare and a foil. That would be the ultimate Dark Crisis pack. I think we can do it. Gaga Gigo. 
the Desrog Archfiend. Oh, Rugs and Special right to the final countdown, which is a two, three dollar card. Very nice. Gucky Guy or Panda, the Outstanding Dog Marin, Kelbeck, Guardian Trice, and the Arsenal Summoner. All right, so we did get a final countdown. That's not nothing. This appears to be an Invasion of Chaos pack, and it appears to that I am correct. That's too uh, that I am correct. I can't say anything. All right, let's go. Continuing Chaos End, Terror King Salman. We got the Necro Monster, the Spatial Colops. Balloon Lizard, Cannonball Spear Shellfish, Grimaji Day Eyes. What will the rear be and what will the foil be? Or if there is a foil, Sasuke Samurai number three, there might not be a foil. What could it be? Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. We did pull that BLS the other day, though, which was pretty insane. At this point, we've had some pretty amazing pulls like three days in a row. So let's see if we can continue it here. Shining Darkness Unlimited. I take an unlimited Blackwing Dragon. I think I still need a Ghost and an Ultimate for my Binder. I could be wrong about that, though. For my, uh, you know, because I'm doing Ultimate, Ultra, and uh, Ghost Trim in both Unlimited and First Edition. Let's see if we can get it. Phantom Hand. Very nice. X Saber Palamura. Worm Call. Card Breaker. Oh, upside down. We've got the Infernity Randomizer. Spore. Leeching the Light. All right, Leech Life. We got the second booster. And. Oh, it's a rare. What is it? A Quackimira prototype. Okay. That was weird. It was upside down. Remember how my summon skull was upside down? That was super weird. Well, it wasn't upside down. Everything else was upside down. This is Storm of Ragnarok. Yes. Storm of Ragnarok. Can't... Excuse me? What's going on here? The, the tab is gone. It's like ripped. What in the world? All right. We've still never pulled the Odin Ghost Rare, which we have said many a time. Let's go. Hourglass of Courage. Oh, Rux and Special Pass the top runner. Car Curry Cash Cash. Worm and Jet Eclipse. The Cyber Shield. Barrier Resonator. Divine Relic. Scrap Breaker Secret Rare and the Blackwing. I've pulled this card so many times, but it's a secret rare. It's better than nothing. We will take that. A secret rare Scrap Breaker. It always seems to appear for us. We are down to the final two. Ancient Prophecy. Can we pull a ghost? Ancient Fairy Dragon. I was like, what's it called again? <laughs> okay, I've never pulled this for myself. I have pulled it for other people, but never for myself. So let's see if we can get it. Battle Teleportation, the White Potent. Water Hazard. Blackwing Thane, Steel Chain. We opened a lot of these packs for EX Gamer. Release Restraint. Imperial Custom. Armed Sea Hunter. Morphtronic Magnon Bar. And the Psychic Emperor. All right, saving it for the end. That's fine. Psychic Emperor is saving it for the final pack of Ancient Prophecy. What will we get from GG Visions Mystery Box? And make sure to go check him out, guys. If you guys want to follow his YouTube channel, the link will be down below. Go check it out if you guys are interested in that. Here we go. Scary Moth. Quacky Mirror Boulder. Let's get a Ghost Rare. Damage Translation. Sword of Sparkles. Dark Sea Float. The Brain Research Lab. Sunny Pixie. Ancient Leaf. And... Oh! Gap, the Divine Soldiers sh Shops at Gap. Very nice. Okay, it's just a regular rare, though. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Might, Nance, Mimic Gecko, Draxtory Moose, Junior Barding, and then the Thai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.